Um, well, in my opinion, I find the greatest challenge to the black community is basically overcoming stereotypes. Uh, I know it sounds a bit cliche, but honestly, it is very true. I mean, uh, I guess what, what, what I'm trying to say is when us as African Americans, um, there are a lot of stereotypes against us, usually, of course, negative, usually those uh, derived from media. Some, you know, people usually see these things from TV or from the internet or whatever. They usually build like this general idea of the African American culture. And especially when the, when the person has grown up in an environment where they haven't had contact with a lot of African Americans or their culture, you know, what they see from TV or what they see from the internet or what they see from wherever or what they've gotten from their parents is that's that's what they that's how they build their viewpoint on, upon uh, of our culture and I think that's honestly like the biggest thing for us because usually that ends up being a negative thing that that viewpoint tends to be you know one that's demeaning towards our culture and I think uh, the biggest challenge is proving ourselves sometimes and I think that there's two sides to the coin there's one where we feel that we have the need to prove ourselves to someone that doesn't really matter. In terms of when you have your goals set in front of you, it is your job to reach those goals, to focus on you know the pathway that you've chosen to reach where you want to be. When people, you know, when you meet people along the way who don't directly impact your goals, sometimes we get a little too consumed in trying to prove something, like prove something to somebody who is not as relevant, who's not relevant to our situation, who's not directly impacting our, our path, whatever. So sometimes I feel like, you know, it's a challenge for some people because they get too caught up in that. They get too caught up in trying to prove something to others. They get too caught up trying to prove, like, they have, like, you know, like a chip on the shoulder. And, you know, a lot of times that ends up making us miss our mark. That ends up making us, you know, miss the goals that we're trying to get to. And the other side to it is I feel like some, like, when the person is directly impacting your path or is you know between you and your goals that is when it's up to you to prove to that person that those stereotypes are wrong i feel like that's when you know that's when i feel it's acceptable for you to sit there and say okay now i have to prove to this person you know or i have to show this person that you know that their viewpoint or their perspective or something is different now i'm not saying you go up to the person and say oh you view this wrong or you know that's a stupid way to look at things or whatever but through your actions you know, you're able to, to, to show that person that, you know, those values that they, they've gotten from their parents or from TV or from the Internet upon your culture or whatever are, are actually misconstrued and wrong. And then they, that ends up changing their viewpoint on things. So I think if you take like a non-combative uh, approach to, to people who are directly in your path between you and your goal, you know, the, the, the goal of trying to change their perspective on your culture is a lot more effective.